Well, Democratic lawmakers demand a vote on their bill to federally protect IVF and other fertility treatments. It comes as some Senate Republicans say they support access to assisted reproductive technology. Alabama Congressman Robert Adderholt sharing his thoughts on the matter. He shared in part, quote, it's essential to be clear that fertility treatment is not threatened by this ruling by clarifying that embryos are deserving of legal protection. The Alabama court has reaffirmed the rights of parents and the foundational value of human life, end quote. Several IVF programs have paused in the state, including those at UAB. Fox News correspondent Madeline Rivera has more on how the Alabama court ruling is being addressed from Washington. Days after Alabama's Supreme Court ruled frozen embryos can be considered children under state law, Senate Democrats are calling for more protection for reproductive rights. Becoming a parent just became so much harder. Senator Tammy Duckworth, who had two daughters through in vitro fertilization, and Senator Patty Murray say they will force a vote on the Access to Family Building Act on the Senate floor on Wednesday. Which would ensure that every American's right to become a parent via treatments like IVF is fully protected regardless of what state they live in, guaranteeing that no hopeful parent or doctor is punished. The bill was first introduced in 2022, but Senate Republicans blocked the vote, though some in the GOP say they may be more open to it this time around. Usually those bills are about abortion, not IVF. So, but we'll see. If it's a clean bill, then I have no problem with it. Clean has to focus on IVF. Last week's Alabama court ruling stemmed from wrongful death lawsuits filed by couples whose embryos were accidentally destroyed in a storage facility. The ruling has caused some fertility clinics to pause services over fears they could face legal repercussions. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says it's Republicans who laid the groundwork for these issues. Make no mistake about it is a direct consequence of the hard right MAGA Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. According to the CDC, about 2 percent of babies are created using assisted reproductive technology. In Washington, Bathara Vera, Fox News.